I got inspiration from an Instagram post for today's edit. I'll try to replicate the same using Snapseed with triple exposure. First I need to convert this portrait literally to black and white, not just a grayscale image. That is the face to black and the background white which is actually required. Having a clear background helps. I'll start by using a selective filter to brighten the face and also add saturation. The reason I'm adding saturation is to make it easier to get a very high contrast image in black and white filter. So next here in black and white filter, I will choose the option orange in the color channel which makes the face very bright. Now using the curves, I will apply a very high contrast. Tuning this to get as much white from the face as possible. Also trying to keep the background black. As here I need the face to be black and background white, I will turn this to a negative using curves. Just need to track the bottom point to the top and top one to bottom which basically turns blacks to whites and vice versa. To turn those white parts of the face to black, again I will use curves and drag the top point to bottom which turns the image to black and then with masking, that is tap the stacks icon on top right, view edits, curves and brush. Here with the curves effect disabled and with the brush value at 100, brush on the white parts to turn those black. Zoom as much as possible to get precise control. I don't need to turn the whole part of the portrait to black as I will be using mainly the front of the face. Now I will save this. So here I have opened this landscape image as a new edit. First I will brighten the foreground by increasing the brightness in tune image and then with masking apply it only on the foreground. Now with the double exposure tool, I will add the saved portrait and choose the blend mode subtract which works best here. Now making it bigger and placing it something like this. Just to make it look like it is looking down on the person sitting. Now with masking, I will brush out the parts not required. Now adding the night sky image with double exposure and choosing lighten blend mode and placing it as needed. The remnants outside can be removed with masking. Now 
now for the moon trying here to make it look like it is part of the eyes blend more to lighten to make only the brightest parts visible Now with the selective filter I will make the part of the night sky more dark with some pop by increasing the contrast and reducing the brightness. To add a bit of light around the moon using curves I will drag the bottom point of the RGB curve which brightens the darkest parts also the blues which adds a bit of blue to those parts. with masking applying it just on and around the moon So here's the final image edited with Snapseed triple exposure thanks for watching